Hey guys, it's Itzel. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a European clothing haul. Hey guys, it's Itzel. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a European clothing haul. Now earlier this year I was studying abroad in Spain. Although that got cut just a little bit short due to COVID-19, I was still able to do some shopping. So in this video I'm going to show you all the tops, bottoms, sneakers, booties, jackets that I bought during my time abroad. Or at least what made it back with me. See, I went to Spain with one check-in bag, and the plan was to come back with two check-in bags. Unfortunately, by the time I flew out, Spain was already under quarantine, so there was nowhere I could go to actually buy this check-in bag. So not everything that left with me, and not everything that I bought there, was able to come back with me. Now, if you want to see everything that did make it back, and just learn about some of the differences in the fashion trends, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start this haul off with clothing from my favorite store to shop at while I was abroad, and that was Zara. Now, I was lucky enough to live about two or three minutes walking distance from a Zara, so I was there all the time. And they do have Zara here in the US. Of course, since it's a foreign brand, um, it's actually more expensive here, so I was really lucky to go actually to Spain over in Europe where the brand is from, and I could get things technically at a better price. If you want to see how I styled any of these items, you can go ahead and head over to my Instagram so that you can see a lot of these items I actually wore while I was abroad and I posted some pictures in them so if you want to see them how I styled them or, or how they look on a person then go ahead and head over there and check it out. So starting off with bottoms. So I have these pants that I bought. I don't really know what to call these. They're not like typical jeans but they're also not like joggers or anything. Um, they're real denim material although the top is an elastic kind of band and the bottom is straight legged, so I like to cuff them so they look a little bit more stylish that way. And they have pockets in the front and pockets in the back. These look really cute with a crop top and honestly, um, a pair of like boots look really good with this kind of pants. Now next up, I have this leopard print skirt. Now, I'm not really a leopard print person, nor am I a skirt person, but something about this skirt aside from the fact that it was on sale, really just caught my attention. Now I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a buckle here, but it didn't come with it, but it's okay. Uh, it still, still looks fine. There's a zipper on the side to put this on easier. And um, a lot of times people wear um, like tights underneath all of their um, skirts. Maybe it's just in the winter, but I don't think I ever saw someone not do that. But I know that here in the US, even if it's freezing cold, people aren't gonna wear tights under their skirts all the time. But there they do. Now moving on to the tops. Here is just a little crop top. Well, actually it was a normal size shirt. I just cut it to make it into a crop top. And it just says, work on you for you. And it's just a little bouquet of flowers right there. It's just a plain white top, really lightweight, really flowy. And now next up actually is this shirt right here. Um, this plain white top I also got from Zara. It's pretty low v-necked, which I'm not the biggest fan of v-necks, but I like this for whatever reason. And the bottom has the little twist to tie the top, and I think it's really cute. It's a really nice basic that you can dress up. So next up, along with this plain white top, I got a plain black top. Now this one is just your standard style neck, and this isn't necessarily a crop top, but it's just like perfectly fit for your torso. I bought this top, which the little strings are hanging out everywhere. Um, this is a really interesting top. So the length of the arm isn't really three quarters. I think it's a little bit longer than three quarters, but it's shorter than full length. And the shoulders have a little poof to them. Not a big poof and there's no padding, but they are a little bit poofier. And the back has a straight cut, if you can see that at the bottom. And the front is a v-neck and it has a little zipper and a ring. And yes, this will actually unzip. Now on to a jacket that I bought that I really liked. It's this corduroy kind of jacket. Now this is really nice because you can actually button up the sleeves. So if you don't want it to be full length, you can unbutton them and roll them up, which looks really cool. Or you can button them up and it's a tighter cuff, which I prefer. There's no hoodie, it's just a fold over on the neck, on the collar, my bad. And I got this and it's like an off-white cream color and it just has buttons all the way down and it has these pockets on the front and then pockets to put your hands in if you want. Now this is an extra small and it's pretty oversized, which I think 
makes it more fashionable so I really like this top and since it is this like off-white color it's gonna go with almost anything now I've been wanting this next piece for a long time one of those longer coats now this is in a kind of taupey nude color it's a full-length sleeve it has the cuffed collar and at the front you know that little classic detailing and it's just plain all the way down it doesn't have any pockets it doesn't have oh I lied it does have pockets <laughs> um, it's actually really nice it's really comfortable the back just has a seam going straight down the middle but this like oatmealish kind of color will literally go with anything and it's definitely a hit during the fall during the winter and you can style this in so many different ways I personally like it to be more dressed up but people definitely make this work in a more casual look so you can definitely dress this up or down however you want. Now moving on to my second favorite store while I was abroad, Bershka. And now starting off with this skirt. This is a leather uh, tighter skirt. The shape of it is super flattering. And I really like the belt that it came with. It's just this silver, the little circle kind of belt. And it does have pockets, which is really nice. Um, over in Spain, when you go out, uh, pockets are definitely the way to go. A purse is just too bulky and unnecessary considering there's so many people inside of um, all the clubs. So this skirt was really nice and it's super high-waisted. Now moving on to another skirt that I got from Bershka. It's this cargo skirt right here. Now the second I saw this, I literally fell in love. Um, I'm really into the whole cargo jogger kind of style right now. And I saw this skirt and I knew I had to have it. This is also super flattering. It's a lot tighter around the waist and then it kind of fans out a little but it still kind of follows the shape of your body. And it came with this belt and I really like this belt. It's a really nice addition. Um, it fits the look really well. And there's these fake pockets. This is just for show but there's an actual pocket you can put your hand inside of it. And I didn't get to wear this yet but I'm so excited to style this for the spring and summer. And now moving on to tops. This looks kind of weird. This is just a top which has that kind of, I'm not sure what pattern that is, but um, you can definitely see through it. Um, it has a little collar and then the little buttons to close up the top. Now I wore this when I went to a beach in Malaga. So I just wore, I actually didn't wear a swimsuit top. I just wore a blue bralette with it, which was my swimsuit top. But I thought this was a really pretty top to wear to a little beachy scene you could wear it unbuttoned or even if when it was you know fully buttoned like you're walking around you still kind of see it like your swimsuit peeking through i just thought this would be really cute to wear basically as that a swimsuit cover-up and that's exactly what i wore it as and i'm gonna do that again <laughs> now i have this really tiny little crop top that just says connect the dots and it's just connecting the dots to make a rose. Now, once again, this was on sale for about 199 euros, so super cheap. Um, it was a regular t-shirt, but I just cut it and it looks cute when you cuff the little sleeves and just throw it on with a pair of jeans and whatever type of shoes you want and there's a look right there. Now, I actually really like this top. So this is a kind of like see-through mesh kind of top, which is a pretty nude color. And it just has all kinds of different designs in a black ink around it. And I think this looks kind of cool. What this reminds me of is like, like a tattoo sleeve kind of, but like a whole tattoo sleeve shirt. Um, I really like all the designs on here. I think this would look so cute when if you throw it on with like a pair of black like ripped jeans and like some heels and like a thick like black eyeliner like wing. Oh, that, that would be a look right there. So super cute top from Bershka. So another thing that I bought from Bershka is this fanny pack. So fanny packs are definitely a thing here in the US, but I think they were more of a thing in Spain. Um, people wear these everywhere. So this is one of those like belt kind of fanny packs. And, or is that what all of them are? Yeah, I'm just dumb. Um, I thought this was a really good size. I got this when I went to Carnaval in Cadiz. So these next few items are from mixed stores just because I really don't have very many pieces at all from them. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you are those cargo style joggers. Um, they have the cuffed little ankles and it just has like two little buttons and it has room to put a belt on. They have pockets here 
they have a pocket here they have the pockets in the back and actually it came with one of those little chains that you wear on the side and that is how I wore it uh, it's just when I washed it I never put it back on but it did come with it um, this is from lefties and now the awesome thing about these is that I'm really short so finding pair of, like a good pair of pants for me is difficult like I've never found a proper length pair I always have to roll them up and especially with things like sweatpants and joggers they're really long so they look extra baggy and then the cuff is uh, it's just not not cute but these actually were like made for short people because this actually fits me really well um, the length the waist you wouldn't send me to lose them now next I have a top from H&M, yes the standard H&M that they have here in the US and I just got this simple top right here. Um, it's a, one of those mesh see-through tops that just has these little, what are these, daisies like all over it just printed throughout the whole thing. It is so cute. I really like how I wore this, um, how I styled it while I was in Spain and yeah it's just cute to wear with a little black, like a plain black bralette underneath it. Or maybe if you had like a yellow one that matched the little daisies like centers, that would be super cute as well. And now this next piece I didn't actually buy. But if you're ever in Granada, España, then there's probably two things that you're going to hear about, even if you're just there for a day, a night, whatever. You're going to hear about the Chupeteria 69, which is basically a shop bar. And you're also going to hear about My West. My West is basically... A really popular um, nightclub or discoteca that they have in Spain and there's a lot of very popular clubs but uh, this one is more known to the Americans um, wasn't my favorite club but again typically the Americans favorite clubs um, so on Wednesday nights they're called ladies nights and one ladies nights just so happened to be um, an anniversary or like yeah like the birthday of the club they had like confetti um, like drops you know those little uh, dancers on like the hoops and stuff like that um, and on the like silk little things um, it was really cool and at one point someone would, like pointed right at us and said you and we both walked up the stage and I'm like what's going on and basically they were um, bringing out like the birthday cake uh, for the club they really just wanted like background dancers so that's what we ended up doing. Um, it was kind of cool just getting up on the stage and they actually gave us this shirt which is the one that the workers there wear which just says um, ladies night and then Mae West in that small little print. Um, this top is like, obviously I got it for free, but it's super like sentimental and super cool. Um, people literally later on ask me like, where'd you get it? Like, where can I get one? Can I buy it off of you? But this is just too cool of a memory. Um, really didn't want to give it up. I cropped it because it was just a regular size t-shirt. I cropped it a little bit shorter than I wanted to, but I think it still looks super cute. And again, the sleeves are pretty long since this is actually a Yep, a size large, and like I said, I'm really tiny, so this is huge, <laughs> but um, if you crop the sleeves up, it's like super cute, it's like a baggy crop top, and it just looks super nice, and it just has a little disco ball on the back. I think it's really cool that this is like the actual shirt that the people there wear, so super special for me. So now moving on to the shoe category, the chunky shoe trend um, that's going on now in the US has been going on in Europe. I mean, they have every kind of shoe imaginable, with a chunky like platform. I personally am not the biggest fan of that, so I didn't take into that whole trend going on, but that's definitely really big over there. Another really big trend is the booty. Honestly, just any kind of little booty that you can imagine that's completely on style there. I got this pair of kind of like suede. I believe the guy said this is real suede. <laughs> um, it's a nude color and it's more of a pointed toe. Um, they have the little brown zipper on the side and then the like bottom sole is also brown um, I'm not the biggest fan of the way that the sole looks, but you know if you're just wearing them like you They're not really that noticeable. Um, I think this is so cute. It's just a simple nude pair of suede booties and Super cute and now the pair of black booties that looked super similar to the other pair of black booties that I left behind was well these right here um so i really like the size of this because it, they're just so comfortable i could wear them throughout the day and like they're just really comfortable and also probably because like this like platform um where your like the ball of your feet go is like a little thicker so that automatically makes it more comfortable it's not 
pointed, but it's not rounded. It's like that in-between kind of tip. And uh, they have that zipper. And then I really like the detailing that they have right there with those little studs, like the little buckle. Um, obviously, it doesn't hold anything together. I just think it's really nice from a stylistic point. Now, this next pair is basically just a pair of fake docks. Um, pretty much fake docks, exactly. That's what they are. I got, got them from a boutique called Rocios. Um, everybody got these kind of style of boots from there. Um, pretty much everyone in my study abroad group got these exact same boots, or they got the ones with the thicker platform, but literally everyone got these boots. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the sole, if you can see, I'm not sure that it's like, kind of like falls apart, but if you tear all those off, it really doesn't look that bad. Um, they have a zipper on the inside. The rest of it is just the lace. The stitching is in yellow, which I don't own a pair of Doc Martens, but I'm pretty sure the stitching on Doc Martens is also yellow. And then the little tag on the back is just really flimsy, like cottony. It's kind of like a shoelace material um, here on the back. And yeah, these fit super nice and they're super cute. And you can wear these in a lot of different ways, dress an outfit up, dress an outfit down. Personally, when I went out to um, clubs, I definitely prefer wearing heels, but I'm actually surprised that there's a lot of people that don't and a lot of people that rather wear a boot like this. And now for the final pair of shoes I have here right behind me, and it's just this pair of sneakers that I actually just got from Bershka, um, that same clothing store. I really like these. Um, they're like that laceless kind of shoe that has like the little sock cuffing, if you will. Um, it's just this like nude, like beige, taupey kind of nude color, and then the so are a little, they're pretty dirty. But the bottom um, is just white, and then the sole is that nude color again. And these are just actually extremely comfortable. Like when you're walking on them, it's like it feels like you're walking on memory foam, like you know the little beds. Well, th these are so comfortable, um, and I think they're so like stylish uh, to wear just with like a pair of jeans. Um, these definitely look super cool. People don't just leave their house wearing whatever, wearing their pajamas. They definitely don't do that. They're gonna dress up. They're just going to class. If they're going to the supermarket, they're going to the bank, they're going hiking, I swear. They're gonna dress up, they're gonna look really nice. I wish people would do that here in the US as well. Um, I know it's more comfortable to just wear kind of whatever out, you know, especially if you're just gonna go to the store or whatever, but I really love the fact that they just dress it up no matter what they're doing or where they're going. And especially at night to go clubbing, um, people really know how to dress. Overall, I really like the fashion and the looks and the trends that go on in Spain. Don't forget to hop onto my Instagram so you can see how I've styled some of these pieces and how I will style some of these pieces in various looks, some for the springtime, some in the fall and later on. I really love everything that I brought back with me and I can't wait to wear it around the US. While we made it to the end of the video, comment down below what your favorite piece was from this entire haul. Now, although my time did get cut short, I'm so, so blessed to have gotten the opportunity to fly out and experience some new things, and that does include the fashion trends. Now, if you did like this video, then don't forget to leave a comment down below, drop a like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching.